ಫಾರೆ he should accept as his food whatever bulbs fruits roots and so on that grow in the forest taking sometimes uh, grains cooked by fire and sometimes fruits ripened by time furthermore he should take as his garments tree and tree bark grass leaves or the skins of a deer it is prescribed that he should perform austerities by not cutting his hair beard or nails nor should he make any special attempt to remove dirt from his limbs uh, he should bathe three times daily in cold water and sleep upon the ground during the hot season he should stand beneath the fierce some heat of the sun with fires blazing on four sides during the rainy season uh, he should st- stand in the midst of the downpour of rain and during the cold winter he should submerge himself in water up to his neck he is absolutely forbidden to clean his teeth to store food that he has collected at one time to eat at another time and to worship the supreme lord with the place of animals if he can maintain those severe practices for the remainder of his life in the ban prastha will achieve the tapal loka planet the fourth quarter of life is meant for sanyasa one should develop complete attachment for uh, sorry complete detachment from attaining residence in on different planets of up to even brahma loka such wishes for material elevation are due to desire for the fruits of material activity when one recognizes that endeavors to achieve residence on the higher planets ultimately avoid only suffering then it is enjoined that one should take the sannyas in a spirit of renunciation the process of accepting sannyas involves worshiping the lord with sacrifice giving everything one possesses in charity to the priests and establishing with one within one's own heart the various sacrificial fires for a sannyasi association with women or even the sight of women is more undesirable than taking poison except in emergencies the sanyasi should never wear more clothing than a loin cloth or some simple covering over his loin cloth he should carry no more than his staff and water pot giving up all violence to living creatures he should become subdued in the functions of his body mind and speech he should remain detached and fixed in the self and travel alone to such your places as the mountains rivers and forests and uh, those engaged he should remember the supreme personality of god it and dwell in a place that is fearless and not heavily populated he should take his arms each day at seven homes chosen at random from those of the members of the four social classes avoiding only the homes of those who are caste or fallen With a pure heart, he should offer to the Supreme Personality of God whatever food he has collected and take this uh, Mahaprasad remnants. In this way, he should always be mindful that hankering for sense gratification is bondage and that engaging in obje- objects of the sense in the service of Lord Madhava is liberation. If one lacks knowledge and renunciation or continues to be troubled by the un- unconquered six enemies, aided by lost and all powerful senses or if one accepts the tridandi tridanda sanyasi renounced order simply for the purpose of carrying out a livelihood 
then he will achieve as his result only the killing of his own soul. A Paramahansa is not under the control of injunctions and prohibitions. He is a devotee of the Supreme Lord, retires from external sense gratification and completely free from desire for even such subtle gratificatory goals as liberation. He is expert in discrimination and just like a simple child, he is free from the concepts of pride and insult. Although actually competent, he wanders about like a dull person, and although the most learned, he engages himself like an insane fool in, in coherent speech. Although actually fixed in the Vedas, he behaves in an unordered fashion. He tolerates the evil, evil words of others and never shows contempt for anyone else. Are he avoids acting as an enemy or vain, vainly indulging in argument. He sees the Supreme Personality of Godhead in all creatures and also all living beings within the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In order to keep his body alive for performing worship of the Lord, he accepts whatever excellent or inferior food, clothing and bedding he can obtain without endeavor. Although he has to make some effort to find food for maintaining his body, he doesn't become joyful when he finds something, nor does he become depressed when not finding anything. The Supreme Lord Himself, although not at all subject to the Vedic orders and prohibitions, by His own free will executes various prescribed duties. Similarly, the Paramahansa, even while on the platform of freedom from subjugation to Vedic rules and prohibitions, carries carry out various duties. Because His perception of dualities has become completely eradicated by transcendental knowledge, which is focused on the Supreme Lord, he obtains upon the demise of his material body the liberation known as Shastri, in which one becomes equal in opulences with the Lord. The person who desires his own best interest should take shelter of a bona fide spiritual master, filling his mind with faith, keeping free from enviousness and remaining fixed in devotion. The disciple should serve the spiritual master, whom he should regard as non-different from the Supreme Lord. For a brahmachari, the primary duty is service to the spiritual master. The main duties of a householder are protection of living beings and sacrifice for a vanaprastha, austerities, and for a sannyasi, self-control and non-violence. Celibacy, uh, as practiced by householders at all times except once a month when the wife is fertile, it is stated in text 43. Brahmacharyam tapasaucham santusa bhutasa hrudam rastasya vi ritogantu servisam madhupasanam. That means a householder may approach his wife for sex only at the time prescribed for begetting children. Otherwise, the householder should practice celibacy, austerity, cleanliness of mind and body, satisfaction in his natural position, and friendship toward all living entities. Worship of me is to be practiced by all human beings, regardless of social or occupational divisions. Vasudha Swami in his uh, purport says, Saucham means Ragadir Haitam. One acquires from firm devotion for the Supreme Lord by always rendering service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead uh, through one's own particular prescribed duty by not engaging in the worship of any other personalities and also by thinking of all creatures as the place of residence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in his form as the Super Soul. The followers of the Karmakanda section of the Vedas can attain the planets of the forefathers and so on by their ritualistic activities. For if they become endowed with devotion to the Supreme Lord, then by these some, uh, same activities they can achieve the supreme stage of liberation, that is the spiritual world. So thank you very much for listening to our lecture and please don't forget to subscribe, share and like our channel and get the blessings of the Lord. Hare Krishna.